either. No. Yeah. Well, his up smash out of shield is his best option. Yeah, like, I mean, but even then you are committing to like the mm -hmm. like of up smash too. Yeah. But now, we got one copy. Oh, yo! We got a fox. <laughs> yeah, speak of the devil, right? Yeah. When, we were, when we were talking about fox and her box shifting here, we do get a fox on the stage and we do have Shangri. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Shangri is from... Uh, I want to say San Diego. I apologize if I get it wrong. I'm going to go ahead and look it up right now. Uh -huh. Oh, and he kind of SD'd right there. He definitely could have lived, but I think um, he might have hesitated a little bit too much. And now he's got a full stock behind and against a fox. Oh, he got double up smashed. It's kind of wild. Okay, but this is where, I honestly, Fox is that kind of character where he is extremely easy to combo. And, like, playing with Squirtle, I feel like the, the, one of the best combo characters in the game right now. Yeah. Uh, correct, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Just up to you guys. Shangri is from Senya. Mm -hmm. Oh, caught his jump, but, oh. Trying to go, hoping he was going to air dodge free, but no, he got the Nair to up smash. True combo at certain percents, and then it becomes a tech rate of higher. Ooh. Nice, he's waiting for him after the get up option here. Quick back air. Shangri puts him off the stage. Mm. Shangri. That's kind of one of those things you kind of have to respect about Ibisar, right? Is if you're going to edge guard him, you have to worry about that special that he has. We're going to just poke him to the mm -hmm. <laughs> Single laser. Ooh, missed out on that down smash, but he's going to throw him off stage with down throw. Interesting option. I thought he would go for the forward throw. Um, but he's about, uh, this is not really looking good for a while. Oh, I feel like he wanted to land with Nair, but it doesn't matter. Up smash will take the first game, Shanghai with three stocks. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't really see one copy coming back from that. He was really far behind, and he had no momentum. Yeah. You can tell right now, one copy is not too pleased about how that first game went. Yeah. Uh, Shanghai, I know he's one of the latest players. We're starting to see him come up more to, towards northern SoCal. Because mm -hmm. San Diego is part of SoCal. Yeah, it but is we, It is SoCal, but it's very far south it's, SoCal. It's like literally like an hour away from TJ. I know we're starting to see Shanghai and T-Day coming a little bit more to MSM. There's a couple more of the, the tournaments here. Yeah, because San Diego if from LA is 120 miles. Yeah, it's a pretty far drive. Yeah, it is a, it, it, it is a two hour drive. And, oh, with no traffic. You know what's crazy? <laughs> it's a two hour drive from literally the 818 with traffic. <laughs> I feel that every day, but you know, enough about my life. Let's get right into it. Shanghai will get the tech chase on the platform, put Palo up in the air. Yeah, one copy opting to switch immediately off um, Pokemon Trainer into Palo. Liking this matchup a bit more? Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's oh. not really looking well for him. No, it isn't. And we, we talked about earlier how some of the meta picks and what people are used to kind of just going on to, mm -hmm. but they never really start to focus on the players who aren't really necessarily picking the characters in the meta. Like, we don't see Fox being as strong in the meta as he was in post Smash 4. Mm -hmm. Like, we do have a great representation with Louie Money, Rai, and Light. Mm -hmm. I, I think ZD, I haven't seen ZD. I, haven't, I know he still does pretty good over there back in the MDBA. Yeah, and we still, we, Eon still plays them at time, from time to time as well. Yeah. But like Fox in the meta, it's kind of a character we just were really hoping to see the best for. And as the year went on, we didn't see any buffs to supplement the character, what he was lacking. And now he's, you know, in Shanghai's kind of honor, he's doing pretty good because one copy is not really ready for the Fox. Yeah, he's not. I'm pretty sure. Not really many people play Fox anymore. And like, uh, the the counterplay to Fox nowadays is to kind of sit in shield. Yeah. Like, it's always been the counterplay to Fox. <laughs> but even more so nowadays now that like, he doesn't yeah. have that many shield combos. Yeah. His up tilt doesn't like hit you from the platform or two frame. Yeah. Sorry, from the ledge. Yeah, he used to be the best two frame option ever. Yes. <laughs> okay. I, I, I understand why they took that away. There's some other options where you're like, okay, man, just give Fox the ability to kill. His mm -hmm. character is lacking. Yeah, like uh, his back air isn't completely like as safe on shield as it used to be. Yeah. And uh, he can't. N nothing really is completely safe on shield as. <laughs> like how it used to be. Like, he can't just dance around you anymore. He kind of has to respect you, right? Because yeah. he is very much a burst option character. Mm -hmm. But that's the one thing about Fox. He definitely feels more of a glass guy in this game because his recovery options yeah. are still very much the same all across every game. Yeah, and the, and if, like, Fox gets you in disadvantage state, like, he doesn't let you play the game anymore. Yeah, but if he's in disadvantage state, you can't pretty much let him play the game anymore because yeah. it's pretty easy to stop him. Yeah. Oh, oh man. He kind of forced that out, too, the way he was going for Nair, and the mm -hmm. back end of Nair would have, like, caused him to get hit, and he felt like he went for a roll.